Hello, hello. Here we are. One more time with our wrench. Uh, we're going to finish it up today. We're just going to do the outside stuff. Uh, we're going to do the porch and the deck and then throw in some landscaping from the 3D warehouse. All right. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, as you can see, we have the full porch uh, already here. We already have our porch. Is what I'm, Whoa, that pencil is way too big. Uh, we already have our porch. So all we need to do on our porch is add the pillars and... Uh, add the pillars and then we can do the deck we're going to draw our full deck on our own here uh, what i mean by that is we're going to do an array and draw the planking for the deck and go all across but looking at our picture over here uh, what we're going to try and do here is kind of make it look like this so we'll add these pillars add the railing make that brick steps and then in the back we have yeah we have this deck here we'll do the same thing all right so here's uh, our ranch so far, at least what I've done in the videos. You guys should have more windows and stuff. If you need to make a new copy, so you're just doing the outside, please do, because there's too much stuff that you loaded from 3D wires on the inside. Go for it. Do what you got to do, all right? But um, let's start with the deck in the back, right? That's the harder part, harder, yeah, part to do, because uh, it's a new command. We're going to do what's called an array. We're going to copy and paste and do an array. So let's make a new tag. We'll call it deck. Uh, and porch. Is there an A in porch? No, there is not. Porch. All right. So in this tag, where am I? Deck and porch. Am I in that tag? Who knows? Let's draw a rectangle, but I'm going to snap to the side. So I want to make sure I'm in this view because I'm going to be drawing a deck planking in that direction. All right, so I'm going to hold shift, draw over here. I'm going to just click. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. This rectangle is going to be the size of a deck planking. Um, downward, right, is the first number is, is our y direction. So, yeah, we're going to do 2, comma, 6, right, because that's all in inches. And there you go. Now we have a deck uh, plank right there, at least the rectangle for it. And then what we're going to do with that is we're going to P for press pull, click on it, pull it out, and we're going to make it the length of the deck. So our deck is uh, 12 by 8, so we're going to make it 12 feet long. So over here, I'm going to do 12 feet, enter. Now we have a plank, right? That is our deck plank. There it is. Um, I'm going to add materials to it. Let's make it, is that not materials? There it is. Wood-like, that looks wood-like to me and paint this thing like it's wood. And then we will copy and paste this a bunch of times. I think I'm missing the far side. We are lagging. All right, so now, since we have a piece of wood, deck planking, I'm gonna highlight the whole thing. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna make group. What that means now is when I go to move it, I don't have to highlight the whole thing, right? It's all just one object. So I can just uh, make it a group. Now, where is this deck located? Or where can we start our deck, placing our deck? If you look, it's really just that opening on the kitchen along that end wall. I'm not gonna go crazy with you having to like line this up perfectly. And for move, I'm gonna click on this corner over here. And if that's the back of our house, we have our foundation line, our deck line should be there, right? So I'm gonna click and it's gonna be right around, I see that wall on the inside, I'll just put it there, all right? Close enough. There is the start of our deck. We have one plank down. Now remember we made this six inches wide, and if you look on our sheet again, it's eight feet wide. So that means there's going to be 16 planks, right? So when I go to this deck, I'm gonna click on this view again, so I'm looking directly from the side. I'm gonna angle it just a touch so you can see what's happening. Now if I go to M move, I'm going to click on this corner. I'm going to press Control C. I'm going to move in this direction. Look, you're starting to make a second one, but in the bottom right, it's asking for a distance. Let's type in six, because that is our distance across that we're going to place this. I'm going to hit Enter, and now without touching anything, I'm going to type in X, and then we already have two, 14, is that right? Enter, and now look what happened. It made uh, a bunch of copies. So we should have 16 planks. So I started with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess it counts the first one. 
Yeah, so you should type in 15 while I do this one more time. Click, Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Uh, you need 16 total ones. There you go. Now I have 16, right? So that's our deck across, but we just need the pillars going down to support it, right? Decks don't just float in the air. Normally this one will have a sill plate and all this other stuff. Not going crazy here. We're not doing every single tiny detail, but we do need the pillars going down. Uh, our foundation, if I recall, is four feet or two feet. How big did we make this foundation line? We made that two feet. So we are going to make a, another rectangle. This time though, I'm gonna be looking down. I want this rectangle on this base and it's gonna be their four by four uh, posts normally. So four comma four, enter. There's our post, space bar to get out. I'm gonna go back over to here so I can see it. Uh, P for press pull, I'm gonna press pull this up. It's two inches thick as our decking already and we have two feet over there. So it's gonna be one foot, 10 inches. Uh, goes two feet minus two inches is one foot, 10 inches. So one uh, foot, 10 inches, enter. There is our beautiful uh, post. I'm gonna do the material again. Lag, 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 lag. Material, why is my computer going so slow? There I am, I'm still on that, so I can dump the paint. I'm going just as slow as you guys do. Uh, paint it on all the corners. Is it going to let me see the inside? Of course not. There it is. All right, I got all four sides. I'm missing the bottom. I'll get over it. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, not miss anything. Make group. Control C, Control V. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's play six. Oh, okay. We are really lagging. All right, and now let's just place these. If I do M for move, I'm gonna do this corner. I'm gonna to go to this corner. All right. I'm gonna rotate around. I'm gonna do this corner. Over to there. Look at this beautiful deck. I'm gonna do this midpoint. You're gonna show me the midpoint. Was that it? Midpoint. Look at that. Did I go in a plank? No. Um, let's do that midpoint. Uh, I'm not going to make you count the planks. That looks close enough. Am I short a post? I think I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need seven. Let's move this guy over to here. Oh no, we need steps first. Hold off on those over on this side. Well, this one on the end we can do. We don't need this middle one because we got to place uh, steps. So now that we have our deck, look how beautiful it is. Good job, team. If we go into our 3D warehouse, because I'm not going to make you draw this all over again. Let's do a deck steps. I have caps lock on. Models. Uh, whatever one you want to do. I don't really like any of these. These are kind of ugly. Yeah. Sure. Download. Place it. We need to rotate this guy, so I'm going to go into rotate. Uh, I want the blue rotation, so I'm going to click on midpoint, move down in this direction, snap it 30 degrees, spacebar, M, uh, midpoint, place it, Midpoint-ish. Look at that. Is that already two feet? No, it is not. So I am going to click on scale. Which one's scale? That one's scale. All right. Make sure you're clicking on the uh, middle point. Look at that. <laughs> We're just going to move down so that this is parallel. Look at that. It's on edge. Now I have the full space. If I want to change that color, you can easily, right? Uh, eyedropper. It's a component, we gotta explode it, All right? Explode, now when I dump, it lags the whole way, but that's how you do that. I'm gonna keep moving along. 
3D warehouse. Let's type in deck railing. Ooh, white ones. What if I hit model? Here's some wooden ones. This one looks longer already. Download. Uh, we'll cheat and just um, do the same thing with the scaling. Probably shouldn't do this with scaling. You probably should do a copy and paste if you want to be a million percent correct. We don't got time for that. I should have done this from the Oh no, this is scale. I can't do it from the bottom. All right. And then do a copy and paste and do it again that way. Do it again there to there, there to there. Obviously leave the stairs open. If you might want to get stairs that have railing. All right, that's the deck. I'm going to move quickly. You should finish that up. Do the railing for the rest of it. And then um, let's do the front. What does the front look like? I uh, forget. All right, so we have four pillars. One, two, three, four. Railing, 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 brick, brick, steps. All right, so I'm going to go back to my 3D warehouse again. Uh, those are called columns, right? C-O-L. Hiccups. Beautiful. Download it. We're going to probably have to do the same thing with the... Um, notice how I'm placing it first so I can grab the actual corner. So I can place it on the actual corner. And then uh, we need to scale it. Oh, we are... Let's, uh, let's, oh, that's why it's lag. It saves every time I load something. Got it. Move, scale, this guy. Click. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Drag it up. Uh, snap it. There you go. Spacebar. Click. Control C, Control V. I don't know what point I have it at. So I'm just going to paste um, them all over the place and then put them into the correct spot. So I have the four. That probably shouldn't have been overlapping. We won't tell anyone. And then now let's move these guys. What? M for move. Come on. There it is. Uh, these, I guess I should move from the top point, huh? What, what, what? M for move. Top point. Top point, spacebar, click, M. Moving right along, almost done. To there, look at that front of this house. Close these materials just so we can look at the front. Wow, wow. All right, Um, we need railing and then the front steps again. So let's do a railing one more time. How about white railing? Models. Ooh, ah. Any of these are fine. This one just looks like it's going to be huge. Told you it'd be. Oh, no, there it is. That's not bad. Place it. Uh, that's not white. I guess the railing in between is white, right? And then you're going to place it, place it. Uh, do the rotation thing if you need to. Rotate. Need the blue face because I want to rotate it from the top. There, I can click there, there. Oops, I didn't click it straight. 90, 90. There you go. M to move. I'm going to actually right click. Explode. I'm going to explode one more time. Now it's individual. Now if I highlight like this, I can delete these guys on the side. And now I just have the one. Right click. Whoa. Right click. Make group. M. Corner. Corner. Right. And then I can do the scale one more time. To that face, look at that. I have beautiful railing in between both. Spacebar, click, control C, control V. 
place move just like that you should do the same thing on your rowing over here and over here all right and then we just need only thing left is the stairs in the front um and then make them brick so why don't we actually just load in brick steps brick steps models ooh that looks close enough yeah download that all right let's rotate it let's place it rotate blue face 90 degrees click the face that's the wrong direction let's go that way click the face uh, spacebar normal right click explode i click on the individual things now nope right click explode now i can click on the individual things let's get rid of some dimensions All right, I'm gonna place it on this corner and then scale it that way. So if I highlight the whole thing, let's make it a group again. No, not component. How's it edit group? Is it still a group? If I go to M right now, is it gonna yell at me? No, it's still a group, okay. Uh, let's move by this top corner here. And get it to here. Beautiful. And then we're gonna scale it. Beautiful. Let's first scale from midpoint down to base. There you go. On edge, then rotate around. Scale this way out to mm -mm 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 -mm. close enough. We won't tell anyone. Spacebar. Zoom over. Zoom out. Look at that. And now that's brick. Can I actually do use this brick uh, throughout? Lag, 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 lag. Going to crash, going to crash. Yes. There you go. Look, I made a beautiful porch. And that is pretty much all I'm asking for. Uh, landscaping and uh, the scene. Oh, sorry. So let me do a couple more things here. So uh that's looking good add the railing finish the railing on the deck you should add landscaping landscape uh bushes trees planters look at all these beautiful things models you have an entire house Lo load some of these things in try not to crash your whole computer all right place some of this stuff in your view Explode if you need to, place them in, right? Um, and then the last thing that will make your life a little easier with the whole thing with like grass and everything is under scenes. Is it this one? Styles, sorry. Styles. Um, you can make things edge. Why is it so small? Default styles, you can make it the grass greener, the sky bluer and stuff, right? So that it might look a little better for your pictures. There's the sky. Ooh. all right so go ahead and change that as well your style add landscaping add a deck add a porch and that's it all right good luck have fun